Hello, YouTube family. Auntie is here. Patty Jackson. It's not cute not knowing, and now we're going to know. Let's get this hug in. Wait a minute. I meant to bring this in yesterday, and Sherry Shepard, I just want you to know, I have to get it in the mail now. She was on the cover of Women's World Weekly. This was a great addition, just great advice. I love this publication because it has food recipes, a lot of motivational stuff, things to just keep you going health-wise, but I am such a fan. And Sherry, Sherry Shepard, you look amazing. We've changed our nail color because <laughs> it's this time of the year. I love this time of the year. This is about the only time of the year that I will wear black polish. And to make you laugh, this is something I would never do. Uh, for years and years, I would wear the most conservative colors. I never really stepped out of the box. But now, watch out there now. It's a mixture of black and eggplant. I saw it on a woman. And I said, that is so pretty. So, yeah, it's definitely the, that time of the year. If you go to my socials, WDAS Patty, I put up a video. Um, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And I put a video up of me going to get a mammogram for the first time in years. I was so embarrassed um, and mad at myself for taking so long. A breast specialist went with me to walk me through it and the importance. Ladies, ladies, get your breast checked. Get your mammogram. Get your mammogram. Don't put it off. Don't wait until it advances. For me, nothing was found, but I said I have to use my voice to encourage others. If you feel something when you're washing, speak up. Get it checked out. If your mate, they feel something, let them know. Like, I feel a little lump here. Get it checked out. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Before we jump into all the stories, it's also... The time to vote, whether you're voting early or voting on election day, plan your vote. What do I mean? Plan the day. Do you work two jobs? Do you have time? Can you get off? Do you have to take off? What are you going to do when you have to pick up the kids if you're voting after work and you got to pick up the kids and fix dinner? Well, what are you going to do about dinner? Plan your day. The lines are going to be long. Don't be wearing no high heels. I know I had people laughing when I said that. Make sure you're comfortable because you might be standing for a minute. And vote early if that is something that you must do for health conditions, helping our seniors vote early. And if you're saying, I'll trust both service, drop it off to a satellite office. I've been talking to local people in this area about all forms of voting, so making sure that we get out to the polls. Okay, it's not cute not knowing, and now we're going to know. How about rapper 50 Cent? The rapper and actor is going to be doing a Las Vegas residency the end of the year, beginning of next year at Planet Hollywood, and he's getting $15 million. $15 million. Yes, he is getting that. I am hearing for next year's Academy Awards, they're going to be using rotating hosts and not just one. Jimmy Kimmel has said he doesn't want to do it anymore. I'm hearing Hugh Jackman, Ryan Reynolds, Deadpool, Will Ferrell, Amy Poehler, and The Rock. Dwayne Johnson. The movie The Joker is coming out on digital October 29th. This movie did so bad and cost over $190 million to make. The original Joker made a lot of money. Joaquin Phoenix winning an Academy Award. It. I don't know who sat there and drank the Kool-Aid and decided to make this a musical. And I love Lady Gaga. But this should not have been made into a musical. They have lost between 150 and 200 million dollars. I am Diddy fatigue. I'm suffering from wait. I'm suffering from two things: election anxiety because every five minutes is a doggone commercial, and I'm also suffering Diddy fatigue. And it's funny because a couple of people in the comments said, "Are you sick of all the Diddy stories?" And I said, "You know what? Yes, because it gets worse and worse." Yesterday, when the new charges, when the new lawsuits came in, some of them were just so sickening. And it's like, this this just gets worse. And the trial 
isn't until May, the crimes against men and women and children. And Diddy was just puffy. Was he was a sick monster, but I'm gonna tell you what's even sicker. The people around him, they say who knew what he was allegedly doing. Colleagues, friends, like they knew, they knew what he was doing to people and just putting men, women, children under under that threat of violence all the time. How could you stand around and say, this is okay? Fat Joe, tonight, y'all, it's the BET Hip Hop Awards. And Fat Joe is hosting. Kendrick Lamar, Megan Thee Stallion are leading the performances. You all will have to let me know what happens because I only know Kendrick and Megan. <laughs> I know the others, but this this ain't my hip hop. Auntie kind of fell out of love with uh, current hip hop in 2011 when T.I. had Paper Trail. That was it. After Paper Trail, I was like, I don't even know what they're saying. But Fat Joe is hosting and he's been doing a round of interviews and he lost 200 pounds. Well, he's been using Ozempic to maintain his weight loss. So Fat Joe is admitting that, yeah, I'm getting the shot maintaining his weight after losing 200 pounds. Had he had lived, Tito Jackson would have celebrated a birthday today. One of the original members of the Jackson 5 passed away about three weeks ago, and he was an integral part of the group. Um, I do a podcast, Patty and the Millennials. We have Gen Zers, Gen X, Millennials, men and women. I asked the question, are today's young people ready for this world that we're in. The bills, 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 and responsibility. For those of us, I'm raising a 23-year-old. Um, Gen Zers are getting out of school. Some of them are not ready to handle the responsibility of life. It's a great conversation, and you should check it out. SoundCloud, Pandora, iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcast. Spotify, and of course, iHeartRadio, number one in podcast. But check it out, and I would love your thoughts. Do you think there are those of us, we are raising those Gen Zs. Do you think that they're ready? And in a surprising poll, more people are looking at trade jobs. Because guess what? AI is not going to replace a plumber, nor will it replace an electrician. Think about jobs that are truly never going away, where AI can invade and replace them. Think about it. Uh, we talk about that. And also, for us candy lovers out here, Halloween, you know, just around the corner. This is what I'm hearing, that people are going to be giving out more gummy candies than chocolate. Me, myself... I can no longer eat gummy anything. Anything that's going to stick to the tea. I can't do any of that anymore. So I sat there looking at the news like this. More gummies than chocolate. What do you think? Leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Give us a thumbs up. Um, if you like the video, you know that notification bell will let you know that Auntie is here. It's not cute not knowing and now you know. Subscribe to the channel because we are growing in a major way. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Patty Jackson. I am your auntie of pop culture.